Moving on to vote on approval or disapproval of fire departments warrant articles. Mr. Walsh. Mr. Chairman, uh, you heard the presentation by our fire department last week. Uh, they had a number of warrant articles that they, they brought forward for your consideration. And um, I, I take it everybody has a copy of those with them. Yeah, let's take the them one by one. All right, there's a fire department capital reserve fund at $100,000. You'd have to create the fund and put money into it. We do not currently have one. One was uh, discontinued two years ago. Uh, and the following year, members of the Budget Committee were upset that it was discontinued and wanted a new one. So it's here because it was suggested. It's not here because I'm doing anything with it. It was suggested. So So do you recommend it? I, I think you're, you're chasing the, the, the clapper on the bell at this point. Uh, although I, I have to admit that uh, um, fire trucks are getting much more expensive. They're now three quarters of a million dollars for a pumper and a million and a quarter dollars for a ladder. Uh, and we're going to be looking for a ladder truck soon for the beach. We have to have a ladder truck down there. Actually, we have to have a bucket truck down there to rescue people off the top of those buildings. A ladder truck won't do it. So I think, but I think this is a little early in consideration to, to getting there from yeah. here. I think we need to study this some more. We need to think about this some more. Yeah. Um, I, I'm not a great fan when things get up to a million dollars a piece of trying to appropriate those outright. I think that's that's a dangerous situation, and you could end up with some real sorry problems if you, uh, you end up in a bad situation. <coughs> Mr. Bridal. As the town manager said, uh, fire trucks are no longer $100,000, $200,000, dollars they are paying three quarters of a million to a million and a quarter for, for trucks. And I, I think this way here, it will give us at least some money in a fund so that when we're, we're building it up, <clears throat> um, it doesn't hurt so bad. We, we know we got to replace them. It isn't something like all of a sudden it's something new that we need to have. Uh, they only have a certain shelf life. And if you did it over the, the 20 years, you might have a, a good portion of that money in there. And I think it's a good way to do it. Um, now, we asked the um, fire chief to give us a priority uh, of, of these. Uh, is there any priority? He list? said that he, uh, the, the priority was the way that he presented them last week. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. And this was the first one? No. He didn't. No. He didn't, no. he didn't okay. He then didn't. Is there some way we can do it that way? Um, I'd I like think to hear them this is, his this is all right. This is this one, the fire the fire inspection vehicle. Um, we killed that too, didn't we? Yeah, we haven't killed it yet, well, but I'm recommending you do that. Yeah. We, we we have enough money for another vehicle. Yeah. Uh, let's start with the radio upgrade system, which was one of his priorities. If we can, Mr. Chairman, just real quick, I'm against the C note for the fire truck capital improvement. Okay. Gonna well, we're going to go back to it. We're going to go back to okay, it. Okay. We're going to go back to okay. it. Yeah. I want to hear about his priorities okay. because I think that's very important. Thank you, sir. Could I make a suggestion on priorities? Okay. I don't want to see any of these things come out of the unreserved fund balance. And what I suggest strongly, number one, his, requi his request should be included in the operating. These are all operating budget functions. As far as I'm concerned, I take the radio, 9,000. Okay, we're going to no, go No, no, wait. Just wait a minute. And, gee, I'm the training article, but what I'm trying to do is expedite a little bit and do something logical. Okay, that's not the way we're going to do it, though, well, Mrs. Well, too bad. We're gonna go Just let me make a suggestion. Take the 22000 We are going to go over like Mr. Welch is doing. Okay, what I'm trying to and say you can to you comment is you incorporate go. the five articles for what are essentially operating budget functions. It adds up to 126000 Do it as a straight raise and appropriate. Don't put a bunch of nitpicking articles. Right, without, okay. Is that a motion? Right. We got that motion? your idea. Yes, I'll move one twenty-six thousand for the radio, the training, the phone, the um, SCBA, and the turnout gear, all in one lump. I would like to. Uh, is there a second? Seeing none, I would rather uh, see the priorities of the chief. Those, they those, are. those are the ones. Those are I know. The well, I, I think that if he wanted him to do 
them all together so that possibly they'll fail, he might have felt differently. So maybe, you know, we're voting for it tonight. I would rather just do it the way that he was planning on it having been. Well, I think if I read Mrs. Wolsey's motion correctly, she's proposing to approve all five warrant articles in one fell motion. No, I'm moving to consolidate into a single warrant article. Without we have referring no second to on the, her motion. Just be quiet for a minute. <laughs> I'm trying to put all five purposes of expenditure so into a article. single warrant article so we don't have a confounded 50 or 60 article warrant. These are all needs for the fire department, but don't, I don't want to see wording on unreserved fund balance okay. in there. Is just there a, a straight second? raise and appropriate. Seeing none, we'll move on. Mr. Welch, we want to go again and do these in his order of priority. Brief. All right, radio system upgrade, $9,000. Um, that's recommended to come from surplus uh, to pay for the cost. This is what we interpreted to be a deferred, a continuous deferred item that should have been done a number of years ago. So we, we recommended it came from surplus. Okay, Mr. Waddell. I'm with this. Mr. Bridal. I have no problem with this. That system needed to be replaced when I was there. I have no problem with it either. Mrs. Wolseley. It's ridiculous to not Mr. take Bean. these along. Uh, you're looking for a motion individually on these? Yes. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Four. I'm not in favor. It's, okay, it's we have trying. Four, when four, Fred came here, he complained against. there was only $300,000 in that unreserved fund balance. Actually, okay. it was zero. Well, thank you. All right. Okay. I, can, I object to drawing okay. down so from that. So you voted against this. I object to drawing down from that for regular operating budget functions. And we if move you on to the put, next one, please? Yes, please. And you want to put five separate Mrs. warrant Wesley, articles. Mrs. Wesley, it has crazy. been decided. It's crazy. Uh, I'm not sure we want to use the live fire training words, but uh, because the, the chief has recommended other words, and I and I did not appro did not print that new uh, new, uh, wording. new heading new right. wording, but it's not going to say live fire Correct. training. And I, even if the police department contributes the ammunition, we're still right. not going to do that. Right. Uh, this is twenty-two thousand dollars for live training uh, for the firefighters in in actual fire conditions is what it's about. And if you're going to do that, we recommend that come from the unfunded trial, uh, unfunded balance. Mr. Waddell. This is something that he had as a priority, right? Yes. yes. Sir. Because there are so many It was many his new second priority. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mr. Bridal. If he has it as a priority, let's let the voters decide. I agree. We have to protect our uh, employees. Mrs. Wolsey. I'm going, to, I'm going to abstain on this one as well. Okay. This is not properly Mr. done. Mr. Bean. Crucial to our operational capabilities, so moved. Yes, it is. So we have four. Uh, all those in favor? One abstain. And one abstention. <clears throat> Put the abstention, uh, Fred, on the fire radio as well. Oh, sure. Happy to do that. Actually, on all of them. This is a bad way. To okay, would you please them. keep yourself? Oh, uh, it's just okay. really Mrs. terrible. Okay, Mrs. Wolsey, this is a serious anything. business, and some of us would like to handle it. Well, I would like to get the money. Well, from the fire Mrs. Department Mrs. Wolsey, please suite. keep. Yes. Wait your turn when it's your turn to yes. talk. <laughs> Mr. Re Welch. Replace two fire command vehicles. Those are the vehicles used uh, for the chief and the deputy chief. They're currently two thousand. Three and 2004 Suburbans, which are in terrible shape, um, may not even be able to be inspected for another year. Uh, they're, they're really bad. Uh, the amount of money, which is $90,000, to come from sur surplus. Mr. Waddell. I'm set. Mr. Bridal. While well, we're, we're looking, yeah. So moved. Second. I'm, you're back to me, maybe, I hope. Why yes. are you not pursuing a five-year lease? These are not apparatus. These are regular vehicles for the chief and the deputy, and I see no reason why this should be pulled out on, on, of the unreserved fund balance. You can spread it over five years, and I think we should pursue a lease for both vehicles. Do they need them? Absolutely. Mr. Bean. In favor, so, uh, and I had the second. 
So we have a first, we have a second. You can lease them if you wish. Well, what about, do we want to wait on this and, and check to see if this is what the uh, fire chief of recommends? It's, well, he, yeah, he wants these vehicles. Of course, he needs them. Yeah, he needs to have them. The, the difference with a five-year lease is that uh, you're going to pay interest. You're not going to pay interest in surplus. Okay. I, I would just say this, Mr. Chairman, when the chief comes to us with this, describes the maintenance <clears throat> that he's run half of the purchase price in the last several years on these vehicles, that he's looked at the cost benefit of a lease and a purchase, he has recommended a purchase, there's a motion, there's a second. I feel he's done his job also. Uh, so do... The only thing I'd say is, you know, on a lease, you got five years. They've already got... 12 or 14 years yes, out of these vehicles. Yes, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. So and they're yeah. falling apart. They're okay, coming. so we have a first, we have a second. Right not, right All not. those in favor. Four. <coughs> and are you abstaining or are you I'm against gonna this abstain. one? I'm going to abstain. You sure you don't want to be against I it? I don't want any, this, I don't want the okay. way these are structured. Thank you. Now, this is the fourth one that he's recommended. Actually, there were five, but yeah. uh, so six, turn actually. Out, turn out yeah. an SCBA. Yeah. The phone system, uh, which is $27,000. Um, as you heard, it no longer operates well uh, and is out of commission frequently. Uh, difficult to operate, difficult to understand, difficult to work with. Uh, he needs to replace the entire phone system for both fire stations. Mr. Waddell? I'm in favor of this. Mr. Bridal? I look back to the old thing. Can you hear me now? That's the way that phone system is, and we don't need to run our our fire department on, on that type of phone system. So Mrs. Wilson, we don't need to run the fire department without any of this. Uh, okay. This all I, okay, needs you, to be put together. Mm. Mr. Bean. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Four. Are you abstaining? This abstaining is not the right way time. to do it. Okay. Replace. And so this next one is the fifth one, right? Uh, let's see. Replace. Turnout gear. Turnout gear. And then SCBA. SCBA follows it. Um, replace the turnout gear, $18,000. This is the beginning of a five-year program uh, to, to make sure this gear is replaced before it reaches uh, its age limit of 10 years, and that will be in 2019. So he's, he's, he's suggesting that we start six units per year Plus, there are a couple of units in the, in normally in the budget which are there every year. So this will get us to the 2019 without having to replace all the equipment, all the gear, all at once. Mr. Waddell? In favor. Mr. Bridal? In favor. Mrs. Wilson? Normal operating expense. Mr. You're going to risk not funding regular, regular protective clothing. Okay. All those in article. favor? Four. Against or? I'm going to abstain. Abstaining, okay. Abstaining and self-contained breathing apparatus filling station, fifty thousand yep. dollars. That that's the one that he said we just we cannot now obtain parts to repair it. Yep. We need to we need to replace it. Mr. Waddell. Favor. Mr. Bridal. Favor. Mrs. Wolseley. Oh, I'm gonna abstain. Mr. Bean. Second. All those in favor? Four and one abstention. Okay. okay, now these are the ones that the chief wanted. weren't his priorities. Right. Um, I put this one in here because it's a new statute. I don't mm -hmm. think you want, you're probably not going to want to do this, but I put it in because you have the right to consider it. And that is instead of having a definite term for a fire chief, having an appointed term oh. so that Every, every three years, five years, ten years, whatever you want, yeah. uh, you would have the opportunity to reappoint or not reappoint the chief. I will not support that. It's up, up to the board. I have no preference. And uh, it just, it does, so you know, you're just dropping it in here tonight? Uh, well, no, it's, it's, been it's, it's, it's the actually article. been here. So we've not discussed it. No, we? this is the statute that they re amended this year. Yep. And any time we have an amended statute that's, that's important to the town, we try to include it for your edification okay. and perhaps so who would like to have this discussion would you like to no yeah, I'm against it Mr. Bridal all set and Mrs. Wilson against it and never wake a sleeping baby Mr. Chairman okay <laughs> yes let them rest <laughs> okay uh, there are 
the fire department capital reserve fund, the fire inspector's vehicle, the fire inspector, and the part-time secretary to full-time. Um, fire capital reserve fund, $100,000. Um, we just got, I thought we just got rid of that. Actually, we, we stopped debating it, and we went on to the ones he wanted first. So. Okay. Well, I'm not in favor Does of doing it, that Mr. again. Mr. Wardell. No. Mr. Bridal. I'd, I'd like to see it, but I can understand yeah. now holding off. I'm against it. Mrs. Wolseley. No, against it. Negative, sir. Okay, so that one's gone. Okay. Fire inspector vehicle, I recommend that this is $40,000. I recommend you not appropriate this. Right. Throw that one out. I think you can just throw that one out. Okay. Uh, fire inspector, eighty-two thousand ten dollars. Uh, total cost annually with other th uh, with fifty-two weeks would be one hundred and nine thousand three hundred and forty-six dollars. Mr. Waddell, once before, but withdrawn. You know, I think uh, they've done too good of a job down there. Mm -hmm. Things seem to be going smoothly. Very smooth. And there may be many reasons for that. You know, so yeah. do they need this position now? I mean, it seems like it's going well without it. Mr. Bridal. I've always felt they needed this position. For so many years, we went out without uh, our school programs and stuff. Uh, the firefighters have done an admirable job, <clears throat> excuse me, of uh, filling in with some of their programs. Yep. Um, they have done a great job so far getting this caught up. Um, if we don't support this one, I think we definitely need to support the secretary for the full time because they they've got a long they've done a long they've come a long way, but they got a long way to go to bring that department back. Uh, and I think uh, uh, although I'd like to see this, I can understand if if people don't want to support this right now. Um, but I I, I think uh, if we don't do this, we at least need to do the the full time. I'm against this also. Mrs. Wolsey. Against. Mr. Bean. I would just like Mr. Welsh to explain that we did have a, uh, uh, a change in personnel and that fire code enforcement. Could you just lay a little groundwork for the citizens and what has transpired with our new fire and that and secretary, what, what's happened? How the Everything's work? transpiring exactly the way it should. Uh, we're doing all of our inspections. They're being done timely. They're being, in fact, they're being expedited. Uh, so we don't have anyone waiting in line. Things are happening quickly. Um, we did have a problem because things were backlogged. That backlog has gone away. We are up to date. Uh, there doesn't appear to be any um, foreseeable reason why backlog would come back to us uh, unless we lose an employee for some reason, and then we could hire someone new uh, to take care of that problem. So uh, actually, we're, we're, we're running pretty well at this point. Thank you. And, and uh, the uh, secretary, the new secretary? Um, the secretary, uh, if you're going to do that, I, I, because this position now works 28 hours a week. The chief would like to see it work 40 hours a week. Um, I don't have a problem with that because we have this person working on the ambulance billings. Yeah, okay. And quite frankly, if this person is going to be using the remainder of that 40 hours for ambulance billings, mm -hmm. I think the money should come from the ambulance fund and not from taxes. The EMS fund. The EMS fund. Yes, you're right. I think that's where it should come from. But if you take well, on how would that work in other years? Well, if the the employee were hired permanently, uh, there would be a, an allocation of funds to to pay you for do a these charge hours. Off. Right, you do a charge, I do to do from. But you'd still be liable for the benefits and the retirement and whatever, yeah. which we're turning okay. down. Yeah. Mr. Waddell. Uh, no. I'm not in favor of the fire inspector. This is the right we yes. talked about. Mr. Bridal. The only, <clears throat> you're right, we have got caught up on all of our, our backlog on stuff. The only thing I say is we had two people doing that. We had both the fire yeah. chief and the deputy fire chief doing that at the same yeah. time. Oh, yeah. So there were two people in there doing that. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't. I, I think. I think we can get by one more year with not filling that position. However, I think if if we don't do that, this this fire protection secretary, she's done a a, a yeoman's job over there. She's oh, brought yeah. that place up a lot, and I think uh, we we really should look at that. So at least we're we're giving the the fire inspector now that's in there at least the tools to be able to work with it. Uh, every person that I've heard that's gone in to see the fire inspector when she's there 
they get plenty of service, but she's only there 28 hours a week. Right. So I think she need, if she was there full time, whether she's doing it with ambulance billing or not, at least she's sitting in that office. And, and if a, a person comes in and they have a question and they need something done, she can address it at that time. So I think I, I can understand the fire fire inspector's position for another year, but the fire prevention secretary, I think she really does need to be full time. I um, would like to say that I think that there were problems in the fire department, and I think that their problems are not as great as they were at one time. I am absolutely not in favor of making anybody full time that isn't already there. Right. Mrs. Wolseley? I agree with you, and that fire inspector position should never have been discontinued. But we need full time in recreation, we need full time, we need eight more firefighters to be perfectly blunt. We need, we need full time, uh, what, um, public works. I can't go for any of that this year. For medical and retirement. Mr. Bean. I do not support the full time fire inspector. Yeah. Right. I would just like to say too that I would like to see hopefully that we can get some nice uh, work done with the union contracts and that people will be able to support the contracts that we have. So I'm against it also. So I, I read That's that as it? against both positions. No hmm. negative. I, I don't feel that about both positions. Okay. Just the fire inspector. Just the inspector. Yes, sir. I'd like to have. I'd like to discuss the secretary individually. Well, I thought that's what we were just discussing. There were two lines. There one was two fire lines. inspector. One's fire inspector. One's fire. Inspector. Okay. Yes. So, for the fire inspector. No. Secretary. That was secretary. No. Now to, for sec to make full time. Secretary full time. Yes. I'm in favor of that. Okay. As I said before, I'm in favor of it. I'm against it. We could use it, but I can't go with it. Yeah, we're close to $3 billion in uh, uh, property in this town. A lot of it's getting torn down. We've seen extraordinary uh, construction to include uh, that beer uh, manufacturer up on 12 Farm. <laughs> These are incredibly complex, time-consuming uh, events. The business community uh, was widely disenfranchised. Uh, there was a lot of spillover from that with the uh, uh, code enforcement and fire code enforcement, specifically in the inspection. Uh, it has been a quantum leap, uh, quantum leap forward. Uh, and I think that the secretary in, in being over there has made the difference, and I do believe that she will uh, translate that, that benefit of her being full-time not only into satisfaction of the mission, but also into the ambulance billing. So I enthusiastically support it. I, again, I would like to say that I think that uh, this is not something that I think that we should be adding more employees. I think you're causing uh, a possible backlash for the union contracts. So I'm against it. Well, I Does someone want to make a motion? I'll make a motion that we do it. I'll second it. All those in favor and two against. Okay. And so Got that. Bottom out, Fred? <laughs> we bottomed out, yeah. Thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs>